technically, I think you were seeing this, you probably will notice that the same amount of cat food um, as labor, labor trial. Which, um, if I have not yet, I will make more videos of the Iron Fist. Just give me time because I need to work on cats and cosmos still and other stuff. Today we're going to do a uh, red ticket opening. I'm going to open in News Hall 54. And yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to go to Just a bit more, just in case. Anyway, I didn't want like the game volume to be over my voice. Anyway, um, yeah, my birthday is May 28th, which this video will be uploaded. And yeah, basically, I just wanted to do a rare opening because you know I never done a rare ticket opening for anyone or any of my viewers or anything like that. Until I did, um, goodbye, farewell to 2021 video, which had 21 tickets, which was on my main account. This is on Battle Cats mod. As you can see, only rare units, super rare and all that stuff can be up to plus nine, so, yeah. Yeah, basically... Um, as I was mentioning before, I do appreciate every single one of you. You know, ever since I started, like, back in, um, what was it? 2014, I want to say? It, it's been a long journey. I definitely had some uh, interesting times, because if you didn't know, when I started playing Battle Cats, here's a interesting story. So, this time I started playing Battle Cats was when I was in high school. So I think I was in 8th grade. And what happened was I was sitting in my 4th period class, which was biology, and I was just sitting there. And then all of a sudden, I noticed my friend on my right. He had his phone out, he was playing a game, and I noticed he was playing Battle Cats. And I was so fascinated by the gameplay of it. It was like, it's weird, but it also looks interesting to play. And I can't remember what stage he was playing, but I remember um, it was against director Nyandam, which was, um, I don't know if it's the right name. I can pull up. Hold on. Director. It's the, uh, it's the boss of the second moon. This guy right here, Dark Emperor, um, Nine Down. That's who it is. But yeah, he was fighting that guy. I'm like, what game is that? Ain't only Bell Cats. I was like, oh my god. So yeah, basically, when I got home, I was so excited. Download Bell Cats, and that's when, if you look back at my old videos, a very long time ago, you would see that they're in a interesting thing because if you didn't know Battle Cats 2.0 which was basically the first version of the English edition uh, version um, I played since 2.0 and during 2.0 there was a few things one if we go back here there was not all of this stuff there was only the menu and the menu only had the events I only had the th these two things, I think. Actually, I don't think there was a menu. There wasn't even a user rank. And I don't think there was really much here either. So yeah. Basically, 2.0 was bare bones. But of course, 
Battle Cats has evolved to have way more. But anyway, when I got to play it, there was also their own recording service. They also had um, their own um, s their own li live stream service as well. I think it was, was called Overplay or something like that. But basically, you could um, use their Overplay recording system with within Battle Cats. Basically, it worked how how it worked basically is when you got into a stage basically you can start the recording at the beginning of this stage it'll start it for you you just play it and then at the end before it shows the like the okay like you know to leave it'll pop up and say do you want to save this video edit you know that type of stuff and you can upload it to YouTube you can also upload it to Everplay which if you don't know I else I did have a Everplay account but if you are still able to find it you'll see there's a different picture of a dog which is my own uh my uncle's dog chip which did pass away sadly but oh well at least he's in memory in memories but anyway um, um but yeah basically everplay was a good alternative for me for recording until they shut down the service, they shut down the live streaming service, it, it just went bad, and then all of a sudden, I got burnt out from Battle Cats, and I think I want to say I was inactive from Battle Cats from version 2.2 to 8, version 8.0. It was a long um time so i missed some very rare collabs back then that many people did like the pineapple apple pineapple pen basically that event there was also another event with mushroom people i forgot what's called and then there was a mr ninja event and i basically missed all those events because i just got burnt out and overplay everplay was um shut down which sucked and then all of a sudden I started playing again, and there was no way for me to record videos until um, I got a new iPhone. I, I think it was the iPhone 9 or something like that, and I saw there was a screen record function. And that's basically how I record my videos nowadays. Of course, now since I got a gaming PC... I'm playing Battle Cats mod on Blue Stack Simulator, and I'm just recording that with OBS, which you know is easy. It's just hard to edit because I don't have an editing program or anything like that. So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, basically that's a little history of my Battle Cats career. But yeah, we should continue opening the cat tickets. Oh, also another thing, um. Mentioning about my uncle's uh, dog, if you look at my current profile, you'll also see another dog. This dog, picture of this dog, has been all over my social media accounts. If you went to my Instagram, you'll see he's on there. If you went to my YouTube, you already know it's on there. If you go to my Twitch, it's the same thing there. Well, this dog is named Mumford. And there's an interesting story of how we found Mumford. Because originally, when during the time when I was inactive from Battle Cats, I say maybe 2014 or 15, when I was 14, we one day we decided to... It was a cold winter um, afternoon in January. And we decided to go to my great-grandma's to check on her because I think she had a fall I if I remember she had a fall last summer I mean during the summer so we wanted to you know make sure we check on her and she's doing okay but then when we drove into the driveway we got out of the car all of a sudden we look up at the front door and we seen something standing there it, it was black and everything we're like is that a statue? Because it was standing still. It was cold winter. Snow was blowing. And we're all in um, jackets and stuff. I was in snow pants because, you know, 
it was just cold. Well, yeah, basically, I was just staring at it. I'm like, I was scared. I was like, is that a statue? Or is that an actual dog? Well, yeah, uh, basically, we just stand there for like five to ten minutes. And then all of a sudden, my mom called. She either called or texted my great grandma to check with her if it was, you know, company over or something like that. But nope. Just a random dog sitting out there, and my great grandma was even surprised to see him out there too, when she took a little peek from the screen door. And basically, he was very friendly, but of course, he was scared because I was wearing a full jacket, a hat, gloves, full snow pants, full boots. So basically, I looked like I, <laughs> I basically looked like a juggernaut to him. So. He Every th so he like was walking down towards the alleyway and basically he would look back he would see me and he's like uh oh I don't like the, the looks of that guy so you keep moving but so we could have just you know left him right but then my mom's like we gotta find where that dog is like we gotta find him so what we did is we tried driving around and we found the dog so then my mom Got out of the car. And you know what happened? She tried to, um, you know, call for it. And instantly, he jumped into her arms. And... And acted like as if he knew us. And basically... Um, he sat in the car. And I took off my hat and all that stuff. And he sat on my lap, slept on it. And my uncle, who still lived in my great grandma, my my grandma's, not my great grandma's, my grandma's at the time when this happened. Um, he was still working, I believe, and we drove by his place. We showed him the dog, and he picked him up. And funny story about this, but of course we have to go more into it. But anyway, basically what happened is we were going to my grandma's. And my uncle took the dog, and then he went to grab his girlfriend. And basically, while we were um, talking about the dog, we made a posting, right? We made a posting on Facebook about a missing dog, because we're like, we don't know who the dog this is. Somebody could be um, missing this dog and really wants to find them. So basically, that's what... Um, we did, we made a posting, and since nobody responded, we just brought him back home, right? I mean, brought him to my great-grandma's. My grandma's! God, sorry. I can't... <laughs> I'm saying the wrong words. But basically, we brought him to my grandma's, and my grandma, she does not like dogs. She was not an animal person, to be honest. She... The only animal she liked was birds. She would always like to watch birds and all that stuff. But yeah, she did not like dogs, and she's like, Why why did you bring this dog to the house, and blah 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 blah. And basically it was a little argument, but we still brought him in, we gave him water and food. And the thing is, um, he just sat there, right by the water and food dish, staring at us. Didn't even move an inch. It was sort of like um, a moment where you're frozen in stage fright and you're just staying there, like trying to think of what to say or do. You know, basically that's what I think was going through his mind. And my grandma's like, huh, he's pretty nice and hello. Well, basically, all of a sudden, we get a response on the Facebook line. So the thing about this is we get a response and everything. And it's like my um my uncle's girlfriend, which is my aunt, um basically was so in love with this guy throughout the little time they had and was like well, we can't lose this dog. We and um, all of a sudden we looked deeper into the person who said they own the dog, 
and apparently they were um a person who was um a person who basically was involved with drugs and stuff and it basically gave us very um suspicious looks and everything as this person it could be just lying to us could be faking i mean, you know it's just like if this person who we're told about like my mom's friends told her about this guy and everything and it's like can we trust this guy but the thing is it's a lost dog it's not our property we have to give him so what we did even though my uncle's girlfriend aka my aunt wanted to keep him even I even remember she even offered one thousand dollars for him we still on the day we still brought him back to him but then shocking events happened a few days later my uncle would buy the dog aka Mumford from the guy I forgot how much I think it was like three hundred dollars but basically he would buy him and it would be a gift a Valentine's Day gift for my aunt well it didn't go as planned because apparently my grandma who does not like dogs who did not like many pets liked Mumford she was attached to Mumford she liked Mumford this was the first dog she actually liked and it was actually very interesting because she got so attached to it and basically treated him as her like little baby and um yeah basically what happened is my uncle and my aunt decided they want to you know move out and go live you know out uh out of state but when it came to mumford you know it was their property but all of a sudden they, their apartment couldn't allow pets so they decided to let mumford stay at my grandma's house and basically this led to a permanent change where my grandma would stay with Mumford because she got so attached to Mumford Mumford got so attached to her even my grandpa even got attached to Mumford and yeah basically they really liked Mumford and it was just like it was as if it was their their own little child there for them <laughs> and yeah we still see him today he's still living good and everything he can be a little bit annoying with his whining but yeah he's still a very good dog and yeah but yeah basically um because of Mumford my grandma also gotten used to some other pets not really cats as much but she gotten used to dogs more and more but like my aunt and uncle have a bigger dog named Chewy which of course based on the name he ch likes to chew on choice and stuff but he's he's a well-trained dog actually he's very well trained even though he's like a year old he's big and one time when my grandma was coming inside their house for the first time when we were there Chewie would jump on her and almost push her off the ground. <laughs> but, um, now we go there, he he just, you know, sort of goes by, you know, does a little jump on, yeah, but they're always ready for that nowadays. So, yeah. That's my long, complicated, yet sweet history of Mumford. And the reason why I use pictures of Mumford on here as... A, you for YouTube is because um another story basically the reason why I use Mumford is because when I look at him he sort of resembles a wolf so back then if you don't know who back then YouTube was a very smaller platform you know there was 
Um, not as much people back then. Even Markiplier was even a smaller YouTuber back then. But basically, what happened was... Um, I used to watch a YouTuber named Red Wolf Gamer. Now, if you know this person, many of you are probably like, Uh-oh, I know where this is going. So yeah, basically, when I was younger, Red Wolf Gamer used to be a YouTuber that I used to like and watch. And basically, I really liked his content. Probably most of you, even though you may not know the name, you probably have seen his video which was a his most popular video of I think 10 million views and it was a Halloween playthrough it was basically um a v the VHS style type of gameplay I think it's called a household massacre nowadays because of the copyright issues with the name Halloween and everything like that but yeah basically um, I would binge watch Red Wolf Gamer if I was funny and the thing is, um, you consider his, um, subscribers minions, and his minions, he would have a, like, a picture of a, uh, like, an art style animated alien to be considered as them. And I sort of was, like, when I'm doing YouTube, you can even see it in some of the old descriptions, you would see, please consider liking and subscribing to the Oscular Army or the Oscular Family, because basically... I sort of like to, I wanted to follow in his footsteps. Well, back in 2018 or 19, he was um, terminated from YouTube because he was um, suspected, I, he was arrested for, what was it? I think it was child endangerment or something like that. He had a daughter and a wife. And, that, and basically, he. If you look up Red Wolf Gamer, you will see videos talking more about it. But I remember he had a daughter and a wife, and basically, it just was went from there. And the wife said he was abusive or something like that. And it was saddening to hear because basically he was my idol in a way. But yeah, nowadays I watch Markiplier, Vanos Gaming, and all of them. And I think it's a better change because Markiplier is a very nice guy. Vanos Gaming is that dark humor type of person that I really like. They sort of formed me in a way because, like, I like to sometimes be dark humor around my friends. Like, I like dark humor. As long as it's not offensive to anyone. And I like to be nice to everyone and, you know, all that type of stuff. So, yeah. Um, basically, from Red Wolf Gamer, as you can assume, I use a picture of Mumford to, you know, symbolize a wolf. I haven't changed that picture because I still like to have memories of the good old times instead of remembering what of the bad times there was. I know it's pretty stupid because, you know... Oh, you're trying to remember this person, even though they've done something bad? Yes, technically, but I just you know, like to remember the simpler times. Even though the person may have been bad, is, you know, not the same person as before. I still like to remember that past person. And that's why that also helped me um, become a better role model to viewers like you. And yeah. Oh, fun fact also Red Wolf Gamer played with Markiplier when he was um Um Basically when he was a smaller YouTuber on the his other channel. Uh they played Minecraft I believe, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. Anyway, I got lost track on there, but yeah, basically that's what happened. Technically, you could consider this a, as a podcast, like a mini podcast, because I'm just spinning out facts and stories and all that stuff. <laughs> it's not really a, a rare ticket opening anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. So the thing is, uh, 
I do like YouTube. The thing is, if you notice that if I don't upload anything, like, I try to do a video every other day, like, on odd days, like, the 5th, the 7th, all that type of stuff, I try to do that. If you don't see me upload, it's usually that, it's just I'm not, like, you know, into it anymore. Because sometimes people get burnout, like, as I mentioned with Battle Cats, I did get burnout from it for a while. But yeah. Um... It was pretty... Well, yeah, I, I will try to let people know before I do get burnout or try to avoid uploading. I'll make sure to let you guys know because back then I only had like 50 subscribers. We're, ooh, we got a new Uber. New Uber. Jeez, I can't speak. Been speaking for too long. <laughs> Uh, let's see. A strong area attack versus angels and zombies. Ooh, okay. You know what? Let's up let's upgrade this person while we're at it. Where is he? There he is. Oh, it's this person. Okay. Oh, yeah. What else was I saying now? Um, yeah, basically, if I stop uploading, just understand. <laughs> I'm just going through burnout. Might need a little break, you know, from YouTube or something like that. But I'm still up to answering people's questions, being able to comment back, because I do like seeing people comment. I do like pe seeing that feedback and everything, because it's like when somebody comments on my videos, it shows that, oh, I can start a conversation with them. And that's what I do with many of my viewers, like, no thanks. And then we got OTO Lion, which is basically a really um, good... Um, person on like updating me with information for future events or current events like uh, Battle Cats mod like he let me know about the Iron Trials so yeah basically those are the type of people I like to see but yeah basically we went from 50 ish subscribers back in what was it 2015 16 and basically, after we reached 100, we kept going steadily, steadily up more. And, yeah. I may not be as high or as popular as other Battle Cats YouTubers or any other YouTubers. I am still happy. I am still proud of what I make and do for YouTube. I am for YouTube because it's not about the money. It's not about the fame. It's about the experience, and it's about the things I can bring to others. Because the reason why I started doing Battle Cats for YouTube is I want to help others get through these difficult stages, and I want to entertain them as well. So yeah. Also, we got Nymph Cat, which is okay we're not gonna really use her much unless we're gonna go for um unless we evolve her and get her talents up otherwise she's useless but yeah i don't know how long this video has been going on for but yeah we that's all 50 some tickets we had it was fun talking to you guys about all this stuff. Even though you're not really... Even though this is going to be a video and you're not watching it... Like, live or anything where you can't interact with me in real time. I still enjoyed it. I still like talking about stories and stuff. It felt like a podcast. And if you didn't know, I always wanted to do a podcast with my friends. But they always didn't have the time. So technically, this was a good opportunity for me. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And if anyone does, thank you all for the birthday wishes. And I just want to say again, I appreciate you all. 
I am turning 22 this year, so... Or today, I should say. You know, depending on when this video uploads. But yeah. Just want to say I appreciate you all. And thank you for getting me to 330 free subscribers. It's been fun. And I'll still keep going at it. Thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oops. Hold on. <laughs> I got a... How, how do I stop? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, for real. Bye!